I wanted to do a video slash not unboxing because I already unboxed it yet, but kind of an introduction, first impressions of my new coach backpack. Um, I got this yesterday after a flexology class. I had some kind of class pass credits left over because I didn't work out over the holiday period that was going to expire. So I was like, okay, stretch session. Um, and it was in this tube mall. I live in London, so it was in Canary Wharf Tube Mall and I was just kind of walking around and then I saw that Coach had a 50% off sale um, in stores as well. I've been browsing their website online but I didn't really think about going in store for some reason but then I was like, might as well check it out. I had originally ruled out this backpack because in my head I was thinking about a small, really compact backpack kind of like the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini but not that one but like kind of the same size but then after I tried on this one which is the Parker I just found that it fit my body a lot better here's the backpack and um, I'm 5'7 and a UK around size 10 to 12 I'm larger on my bottom so I think smaller backpacks kind of accept Ooh, guitar went off accentuate my hips a bit too much so I think this size looks really good on my body frame um, I'll do kind of mod shots later so that you can see how it looks against a body that's similar to mine but an introduction of the bag this is the Parker backpack it's a convertible backpack it's kind of similar vein to a lot of the Louis Vuitton backpacks and I think some of the Chanel backpacks that have come out recently which is super super handy in my opinion because I think my one reservation that I have about backpacks is that it's kind of limited only to one kind of usage which is kind of like throw everything in if you're walking a lot going you know traveling around town things like that but this if it can be kind of a handheld cute bag and a shoulder bag it kind of opens up more opportunities for use which then makes your money more worth it that's my opinion at least and the price point of this was so good it was originally 395 pounds but they had 50 percent off so i got this for 197.5 pounds which i'm just so happy about because this is a full leather bag i was considering the louis vuitton clapton before which was 1420 pounds i think 1420 pounds which you know i don't earn a lot so i'm gonna have to save for like 18 months for that bag and I just really really wanted a backpack because I have a few trips coming up I'm going to China with my boyfriend and to visit family and stuff like that and then we're gonna do some sightseeing and then also a ski trip coming up as well that I really wanted to use a backpack for so enough rambling about why I got the bag kind of to show you what's inside there's nothing inside but the capacity is huge this is how you open the bag so there's a like a little bit of a turn thing here and then it's a burgundy, not burgundy, it's kind of a purplish eggplanty aubergine color. And similar to the Louis Vuitton Clapton, it has this magnetic thing right here, which is amazing, I think, because it keeps the structure of the bag, but it also has the capacity to fit a lot more stuff in it if that's needed. Um, taking this out. paper all over um there's quite a lot of compartments i think for actually no there's not a lot of compartments but a few useful ones i think so this one in the back you can see like there that kind of is around the length of my hand so that fits i, th I would say kind of a, a card holder things like that that's a bit more important to you definitely not a full-size wallet but useful enough i think and then there's a flat pocket right here. This is, this comes out. There's a flat pocket right here that fits something flat, maybe a lipstick. Ooh, it goes like almost to the length of the bag. Like my finger is right here right now. So I think that's also kind of a really useful compartment to have, like, especially if you're, you know, using this for tour, like traveling, touristing, traveling, and you have like some boarding passes. This will definitely fit a passport, which is easy to grab and things like that. Um, I'm just so happy about this. Um, and then there's a, just a huge opening inside. I think it can fit an iPad. Let me check later and I can write that down in the description box or whatever. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of like the 
front side of the back and then in the back side there's a zipper again here which is amazing i think for travel especially if you're touring kind of crowded areas and things like that you can slip important things in here it's kind of a tight pocket it's a tight fit but let me see if i can fit my phone in. okay this definitely fits comfortably so it's around the height of a i have an iphone 7 plus so it's around the height of that and then I think if you have like a card holder or something that can also fit, but it can't be kind of a bulgy one because it's quite tight. Like this is about as much as it opens, if that makes sense. Great. I love this so much. I just think it's such a good deal for like what you get. And because it's not cheap, but if it's because it's cheaper, I wouldn't be as kind of fussy about it as I probably would um, the Louis Vuitton Clapton. My computer is on fire in the back so yeah that's how it looks the straps are really thin but I don't see it being a problem because they're leather straps they are not chain straps so I don't see it digging into my shoulders at all um, you can kind of hold it like this this kind of stops it from moving into the grommet so that's that the detailing of this is also really nice you just get a touch of luxury with it you know it says coach you know on the grommets and there are four of them so they, they don't they're not connected or anything and then now on to the fun convertible part you can change this into a shoulder bag and you do that by kind of unclasping that from the bottom and then reclasping this part into the other straps whole loop and then you do the same thing again for this and then you just put it over here by that loop and then it turns into a shoulder bag this looks to me a bit clumsy but it's actually not too noticeable when you put it on your shoulder it just kind of looks like a strap so i don't really mind that too much but i don't really see myself using this as a shoulder bag I think I'll use it more as a top handle and backpack, but it's just really nice to have the option, you know, because again, like I said, it adds to the versatility of it all. And I don't know, for me, I think this is the first purchase that I've had from Coach ever. I think when I got into bags, it was around like, I've always really liked bags, but when I first got into them around 2017, I had kind of a, not a negative, connotation but but just like the image of coach just wasn't up there for me but i think recently when they kind of dug out more of their archive pieces and vintage pieces like a lot of fashion houses are doing nowadays i think i'm more inspired by their old traditional looks and kind of the brass gold hardware with the you know this smooth glove tanned leather this is kind of what i associate cool vintage kind of using it for your life kind of situation that kind of bags more than they're kind of more out there lots of prints everywhere kind of coach that i've kind of known since growing up so i'm really happy with the direction that they're taking and i have seen quite a lot of pieces on their website that i also like and i think the price point is just a bit easier for me to swallow just so useful i think so yeah this is my bag. Um, I'm going to include some mod shots now. Um, but I think that is it for my video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay. The mod shots are going to be pretty awful. But this is how it looks on my back. Like that one shoulder both shoulders will be like this this is how it looks I don't think they're even right now because I think I was trying to adjust the straps yesterday so it kind of sits right above my butt bone <laughs> um, and yeah I'm just wearing a really really big sweater which is why it looks a bit constricting but can't really be bothered to change right now so it kind of sits it doesn't sit completely flush against your body it's kind of like as you can see on the top it's a bit like juts out a bit which is the look I like I don't really want it to be like too like I'm going to school backpack
And then this is how it looks kind of as a shoulder bag. As I mentioned, the straps look a bit clunky like this. Ignore my hot water bottle. It's from the White Company and very fuzzy and I love it. Okay. But it does work, I think, on your shoulder because then it's kind of normal looking. And then this hits right just under my butt. So yeah, this kind of looks like this as a shoulder bag, which I also really like actually now that I'm looking at it. Oh no, I'm also wearing... I'm wearing maternity leggings because they're comfortable.